Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 21. The Bible says, And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible in Jesus' name. Take this prayer point. Every cause, tie me down maritally. Break and release me in the name of Jesus. Every cause, tie me down maritally. Break and release me in the name of Jesus. Every cause, tie me down maritally. Break and release me. Break and release me. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. We are looking on the topic. Ten dreams that indicate you are under a marital cause. Ten dreams that indicate you are under a marital cause. Dreams are just so wonderful because in dreams, you tend to know so many things that is about to happen or the source of our problems. The dreams that indicate you are operating under a marital cause or under a marital evil foundation. So we are going to tell you more about this topic. Dream is our spiritual knowledge that shows us what will happen. Marital cause happens when a person finds it very hard to find a suitor or get married. Marital cause also affects those that are married. It affects them in the areas of bad luck. It affects them in the areas of illness, in the areas of disfavor, in the areas of death, in the areas of stagnation, difficulty, barrenness, miscarriage, and even setback. So we are going to tell you the 10 dreams that shows you are already linked with this marital cause. If any of these dreams are applicable to you, you need to pray to break any marital cause affecting your life. Number one, when you wear a torn wedding gown in the dream, when you wear a torn wedding gown in the dream, you are operating under a marital cause. A torn wedding gown is a spirit of disappointment at the edge of breakthrough. A torn wedding gown in the dream is a sign of shame, disgrace, and reproach. A torn wedding gown in the dream is a sign that the enemy does not want you to get married. A torn wedding gown in the dream is a sign of bad luck. It's a sign of difficulty. It's a sign of frustration. Wearing a torn wedding gown, that would, would torn wedding gown does not portray the glory of God in your life. And for some people, when a torn wedding gown in the dream may be a sign from God that the person you are about to marry may not be from God, may not be approved from God. Dreams are like parables. Those that understand it will eat the front thereof. So when you wear a torn wedding gown in the dream, it could be an indication that your marriage will not work out. It could be an indication that you are going to pass through delays in getting married. When you are wearing a torn wedding gown in the dream, it means that your husband or your boyfriend or your fiance will rise up all of a sudden and start to hate you or and start to cut off relationship with you. So when you are having this kind of dream, know for sure that the enemy does not want you to settle down in marriage. They want to frustrate you. They are doing all they could to stop that marital plans. They are doing all they could to sow a seed of discord in the heart of that man or woman. Just about two days or three days to your wedding, to your traditional marriage, issues are rising, all kinds of blame games, all kinds of she's not the type, all kinds of the man is selfish, the man has another child, another woman, you know, all those kind of things will be coming out at the edge of breakthrough. So when you are at the edge of breakthrough, so when you are wearing a torn wedding gown in a dream, Know for sure you are operating under a marital cause, marital delay, marital frustration, marital unfruitfulness. What do you do? God, arise. Arise. Break every cause of marital delay in my life. And I pray the Lord will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Number two, when you are smelling hopefully in the dream, you are smelling hopefully in the dream, people are avoiding you. People do not want to come closer to you. You are just smelling, you are seeing flies petting around your body. You know, you are not getting that love. 
you are not getting that positive vibes. You know, people are not happy while discussing with you. They are, you know, they are covering their nose. You are not confident about yourself while with some people in the dream or even the reality. So when you are having this awful fear hosing out from your body in the dream or in the reality, know for sure that the enemy is fighting against your marital breakthrough. You are under a curse. That smell was projected in your body to chase away your suitors, to chase away good people from you. People that want to do business with you. People that want to engage you with some positive talks. People that want to bring good opportunities to you. People that want to ask for your hand in marriage. This man is just like a demon, chasing them away, telling them that she does not deserve it. He does not deserve it. You better run away from her. You better run away from him. So there's that smell. Even in the physical world, you are having that smell. You cannot even perceive it. Other people can perceive it. Normally you check, you, even though you blow perfume all over your body, people still perceive that smell. It's a spirit of marital battle, marital frustration. The enemy is fighting you. You are under a curse. Somebody is using Vodo powers charm to fight you, to make sure that you lose your marriage, to make sure that you do not marry. So what you need to do, you need to pray. So that God Almighty can take away that smear from your life in Jesus' name. Number three, when you are looking older in the dream, looking older in the dream, the Bible says we shall be young and youthful. When you are looking older in the dream, your marital glory is expiring, is fading away. When you are looking older in the dream, but in the physical realm, you are yet to get married, your marital glory is going away. That holding, that old person in you in the dream is a sign or a reflection that you are under a marital cause. People will see you as a mature person. And whereas, if they check your age, you are just about 20 something years, 30 something years. But in the realm of the spirit, you are just like a, like a woman that has given birth to four children. It's a spirit of error and mistake. You are looking older, even in the reality. When you look at this young girl, why is this young girl looking older? And she has not given birth. She has, she has, she has not married. Why is she looking older? It's the spirit of wholeness, the ancestral powers. They have confused. They have taken away the originality of her glory. They have replaced it with their own glory that will make people, you know, to avoid her. Ah, I can't marry her. She is older. And by the time you check her age, she's just a, a, a young person. So if you are looking older in the dream, you are under a marital cause. Marital cause is affecting you. So people say, ah, I'm beautiful. I'm You're under a marital cause, looking older. And being older in a dream can give way for anger, can give way for bitterness, resentment, can give way for being authoritative. Nobody will give you advice and you will listen to that advice. You are looking older. You are looking like a spiritual entity. Nobody can give you instruction and you will obey. They must follow your instruction. The spirit of domineering, looking older in the dream. You need to pray against that. Number four, when a wedding ring fell off your hand or being stolen in the dream. When a wedding ring fell off your hand or being stolen in the dream, your wedding ring, you discover that your wedding ring just fell off your hand to the ground. A sign of marital cause. It's a sign that the powers in your father's house or in your mother's house does not want you to get married. They are pulling you away from that relationship. They are pulling you away from that marriage. The cause does not want you to have settlement in that relationship. The cause does not want you to have settlement in that marriage. They have stolen your marital glory, your marital identity, your prestige. Your possessions in that marriage have been stolen. Your wedding ring fell off your hand. Well, for some people, this could be a sign that the Holy Spirit does not want them to marry that person. And that could be the reason why the wedding ring is falling off their hand. Alternatively, if this is your case, that each time the wedding ring is falling off your hand in the dream, even in the reality, in your relationship, you are experiencing disappointment set back. You discover that you are trying to call your boyfriend or you are trying to call your girlfriend and your girlfriend is not, is asking that I'm busy. 
I'm busy, I will get back to you. Know that the enemy is already manipulating that relationship or marriage. Your wedding ring is falling off your hand just about a few days or few time to your marriage or both of you are planning how to get married. Know that the enemy wants to scatter everything. They do not want you to get married. The ancestral powers, either from your own side or from his own side, they are working against that marital togetherness. So, if you are seeing that kind of signs, pray that God restore my marital glory. Every agenda of the enemy against my marriage shall scatter in Jesus' name. Number five, when you keep seeing a deity or idol in your village in a dream, when you keep seeing a deity or idol in your village in a dream, know that you are under a marital cause. In fact, you have inherited a problem from your village. In fact, the, the pattern of marital failure in your village or in your family, you have inherited it, and which is affecting your chances of getting married, or which is affecting your chances of getting peace, joy, and happiness in your marriage, in your home. You are seeing deity. You are seeing idols. And you are yet to get married. These are cause. These are foundational powers. These are marine powers. These are ancestral powers. You seeing them alone in the dream, know that you will have issues in getting married on time. They will make sure that they, they compound, you know, they extend the years of you getting married. You'll be, they will find time to delay you, delay you, delay you, delay you. You'll be expecting that man. You'll be expecting you to, to meet up that woman to, for marriage they will close the door. So when you are seeing deity, idol in your village in the dream, you need to pray hard to break every foundational cause, fighting or troubling your marital destiny. Go for deliverance ministration or meet a man of God to break that yoke of marital frustration and delay from your life. Number six, when a man is about to give you a wedding ring in the dream and you woke up, a man is about to give you a wedding ring in a dream. And you woke up. As a man is trying to give you the wedding ring, you just find yourself waking up. You know, the man has not even finished putting that ring in your hand. So, what that means is marital embargo. You just woke up. You did not even realize the fact that the man has successfully put the ring in your hand. It means they are troubling you. They did not want you to get married. Perhaps. You'll be having these suitors, you'll be having these people, men, coming to ask for your hand in marriage. Even you yourself, you are confused. You don't even know who to choose among these men. So when you're having that kind of dream, know that the devil does not want you to get married. There's a problem somewhere, and there's a cause fighting against your marital breakthrough. A man is about to put a wedding ring in your hand in the dream, and you woke up. That is frustration, disappointment, at the edge of breakthrough, blockage. This spirit of it shall not be possible, near success syndrome, promise and fail. It's affecting you in that relationship. So what do you need to do? You need to pray hard though. Don't say, I'll pray, 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 pray. You can't over pray, but you can only under pray. You have to pray to break that spirit of near success syndrome. You have to pray to break the spirit of disappointment at the age of breakthrough. The truth is that somebody is coming to ask for your hand in marriage, but the spirit from your village, they are telling the man that go back, go back, go back. She does not deserve it. Before you know it, they will not be projecting evil dream in the life of that man. The man will be seeing you, pursuing him. You know, all those kind of abnormal dreams. And you are having this kind of dream, know that there are some altars in your father's house, there are some idols, there are some shrines that are fighting against you. So you need to go for deliverance. Number seven, when you see stains or marks all over your body in the dream or reality, when you see stains or marks all over your body in the dream, that mark represents something. And the mark, and the mark of embargo the mark of disfavor, the mark of trouble, the mark of disappointment. When you are seeing stain on your body, that is pollution. Stain, disappointment, shame. 
you know, struggle, something that can tarnish your image, your reputation, that stain, that strange mark on your body can bring about dishonor, can bring about lack of respect. People will look down on you. Is it how you, how you be? They will, try to have, they will try to avoid themselves from you. So when you are seeing this mark or stain all over your body, that is a curse upon your life. And that curse, you need to wash them away with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you, every mark, any stain that is already imprinted or planted in your body that is working against your marital settlement, may that evil mark and stain disappear in Jesus' name. Number eight sign that shows that you are under a marital cause is when you lie on a bed and the bed break in the dream. You lie on a bed and the bed break as you find yourself lying on a bed in the dream. You are trying to lie on the bed in the dream and the bed, you know, break, collapse in that dream. If you are married, that is marital trouble. If you are not yet married, it means marital difficulty lying on the bed, and the bed scatter in the dream. It means a scatter home. A scatter home. Battles in the home. Cause swallowing your effort, disgracing you. They do not want you to have peace. They do not want you to enjoy your marriage. So when the bed broke or scatter in the dream, so you need to pray. You are about to enter into battle. Pray very well. If, you, if God has given you a man or a woman to marry and you are seeing all these dreams that we have listed, you need to pray. Even though the person is a god fearing or God anointed the person from heaven to, to you, you need to go and pray. Number nine, when you are having sex with animal in a dream, you are under a marital curse. You are having sex with animal in a dream, you are under a marital spell. You need to pray or go for deliverance. Then lastly, when you can't find your shoe in a dream, your shoe is missing. You are looking for the shoe. You can't find the shoe. Marital loss, marital cause, frustration, turbulence in your marriage. Things are not possible. Your goals are not possible. Your dreams are not possible again. They want to frustrate your ability of moving forward. You need to pray. I pray. May God give you that grace to overcome that problem rising at the edge of marital breakthrough in Jesus' name. These are some of the dream battles that show that you are operating on that marital course. The dream could be allowing you to pray for your marital breakthrough. As the signs are telling you the cause of your marital delay are spiritual. And since it is spiritual, then you need to pray to break the yoke of marital frustration and delay in your life in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take prayer upon number one loud and clear. Father, fight all my battles and give me resounding victory. In the name of Jesus. Father, fight all my battles and give me resounding victory. In the name of Jesus. Father, fight all my battles and give me a resounding victory. In Jesus' name. Two, every power behind my marital delay and frustration. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power behind my marital delay and frustration. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power behind my marital delay and frustration. Die in Jesus' name. Three, powers blocking my marital breakthrough. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers blocking my marital breakthrough. You are a liar. Die in Jesus' name. Four, Father, break the power and their evil covenant, making it difficult for me to get married. In the name of Jesus. Father, Break the power and their evil covenant, making it difficult for me to get married. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. God bless you.